Uh, here, actually, that's a very simple example. We given the system of vectors already. We don't have to compute it, and it's not a easy. It's not a nice looking system of vectors, uh, but we have to prove that such a system is orthonormal system, and that explains why it is not such, why it is not nice looking system. Because, like I said, finding orthonormal systems it's not an easy task, and many of them don't look really nice. Look at this. Here's my vector x1, which is a vector like this. 1 on root 2, negative 1 on root 2, and 0. Three component vector. x2 is a vector, again, three component vector with the components like so. All of them identical to each other, and all of them 1 on root 3. Uh, the third uh, vector is the one with the components negative 1 root 6, negative 1 root 6, and the third component is 2 on root 6. The claim is, the claim which we have to verify is that the system S, composed of these three vectors, is orthonormal. By implication, it will be then, if we show this, by implication, it will be linearly independent, and by the second implication, it will be basis. Because the first slide today, if you remember, we proved that every linearly independent system which has as many vectors as a dimension is, line, is, is a basis. And in, free, in, in the space of three tuples, sorry, in the space of triple of numbers, that's how we're supposed to say it, uh, dimension is free. And we have three linearly independent vectors. So I just do the check. It's a pure computational check. We just check the lengths or the moduli of each individual vector. It's a straightforward computation. x1 gives you 1 half plus 1 half root, which is 1. x2 gives you 1 third, 1 third, 1 third is 1. And x3 is 1 six, 1 six, and, and 4 6, which is 1 again. All of them unital. So the condition B of being of normal system is satisfied. Uh, condition A, this pairwise dot product, again, I compute them here, x1, x2. Mm, it's one half, uh, one root two, one root three, take, yeah, this is zero. Right, this component, with this component and this component with this component, zero, simply zero x1, x3. Uh, here's my x1, x3. Dot product. Uh, it's again 0. That's right. And here's my x2, x3 product. These two. Uh, it's negative 1 on root 3, root 6. Then another negative 1, root 3, root 6. And then 2 on root 3, root 6. That is 0 again. It is indeed orthonormal system. We just numerically verify that. Just look at this system. You can see that it's not an easy to, to guess such a system. And that just confirms you that on one hand, it's easy to deal with such systems. On the other hand, finding such systems requires significant computational effort. Now, the second part of this question says, take a vector. A with the components negative 1, 3, 4, and compute linear representation of this vector with respect to my orthonormal system, with respect to my basis, in fact, because now I can safely claim that this system S is the basis. So we need to find these coefficients. And like I said, having the orthonormal system makes everything else is very easy. When you have it, the rest doesn't require much of the effort. If I want to find these coefficients, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, all I have to do, all I have to do is to take the dot products of my vector with the elements of my orthonormal system. In case of x1 vector, here's my dot product. Uh, negative 1 on root 2, negative 3 on root 2. Here it is, right? It's negative 4 on root 2. You can cancel one of the two. That's the component. Second component of my, it's again the dot product like so. Mm. A in x2 
2 it's negative of root 3 then 3 on root 3 something went wrong why did I say let's just double check if I did everything correct it's negative 1 on root 3 3 and did I do something wrong I think I did something wrong did I I missed one term here that's the one which is missing and altogether that will be uh, negative 1 3 it's 6 isn't it yeah that's the correct computation actually I can simplify it even further but I don't have space here I'll fix it later now for the lambda free coefficient again it's the dot product like so and that hopefully I didn't make any typos here it's 1 on root 6 negative 3 on root 6 and 8 on root 6 that is simply root 6 is my coefficients uh, so if you remember this notation the components of the vector with respect to the given system of with respect to the given linearly independent system or with respect to the given basis in this case well subject to the little typo for the second component which I will fix we're looking at the vector like this well I need to fix my typo here I just fix this again if I can if I cancel my one of the threes it will be two square root three that's the correct expression any questions